Hey guys, Trigger Happy John, coming at you with another Awaken Chaos Area video. On today's video, what we're going to be talking about is going to be the upcoming limited summons change, which just happened, as well as we are about to have a void reset tower. I'm going to show you my progress, the kind of the team that I use to progress it. Also, give a big shout out to my boy Rex Hart, helped me tremendously. And yeah, let's get into the video. So, first things first, let's go ahead, let's pull up the Void Tower. I am recording this actually on stream right before Void Tower Reset. Normally, events like this, I will be streaming. In case you're curious, come follow me at twitch.tv backslash or Gabby John. Uh, but in this case, we are about to have reset. We are live. Um, I made it to level 70. For those of you who have been following my progress, I made it to 60. I was hard stuck. It was um, pretty hard, not gonna lie. It's literally one of those um, levels where it's a DPS check. It was a, it was a gear check. Uh, I was not, I didn't understand it. I was, uh, you know that, uh, tw that TikTok where they say, hey, you know, you misunderstood the assignment? I misunderstood the assignment. Uh, let's put it that way. Uh, so I was using the totally wrong team. Uh, and like I said at the very beginning of the video, I'm gonna give a shout out to my boy Rex Hart. He came into chat, literally laughs. Like, I hate to see you struggle so much. And, uh, you know, as content creators, we go back and forth, kind of give each other shit. And uh, it was funny, he, he brought that up. He's like, hey, why don't you try this comp? We tried it, we failed. Uh, but I noticed great progression. So I kind of want to talk about it real quick and point out what he recommended and how I applied it. So with that being said, you know, I'm using Winstrix, Nathalia, Zatlux, and William. And this comp itself has been pretty solid. Uh, I'm currently stuck on level 70, you know, we. <laughs> We only progressed like nine levels more, but hey, you know what? I thought I was gonna be stuck on on 60, and honestly, had I had more time and not been recording this right at Void Tower Reset, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But unfortunately, I am recording this like literally six minutes before reset, so it's, it's kind of one of those I'm stuck. I'm not gonna really progress this because I needed to record this video. But let's talk about it real quick. So as you see here, we have Winstrix, Nathalia, Zatlux, William, I'll go ahead and start this run so you can kind of see the, uh, the the priority order that comes into play, how I'm kind of manipulating them. So notice that depending on what wave it is, wave one through three, two through three, three through three, I'm literally going in and um, I'll speed them up because wave three is fine. It's, it's fine to speed them up because when Strix will have her cooldowns reset. I can go in here and I'm hoping, I'm just kind of like, you know, we're, we're just trying not to waste anybody's ultimate that doesn't necessarily need it. You know, hopefully Nathalia does exactly that. Now we can go ahead and do her ultimate, allow her to clear this wave for us. Uh, Zatlux still has the speed boost so he can come back in here. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can get. Now this one's a little harder because this is off element here. My Zatlux is super strong as well. But I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. We, we are gonna take a little bit of damage on this wave here. And that's just because my Zatlux just can't take care of everybody. As you see there, two people are left. William's the only one left up. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and attack. He won't kill anyone because you know, it's William. He's not gonna do the damage. Oh, we got lucky. We got a Nathalia proc. Okay. I'm gonna laugh if we beat this on 470. Uh, I just tried, tried it three times and didn't work. But I'm gonna show you the exact rotation that I use. So you may make it to the last rotation here, right? right? We have William for his attack up. Instead of doing his defensive down, we're actually gonna go ahead and speed up. Winstrix, boom, boom. All right, now we got this going. Let's go ahead and we're gonna use, so he has a lot of focus. Obviously your spells are driven off of your character's focus. Let's go ahead and use defensive down here instead of using his ability, right? And that's because we get a defensive down and propped on everybody but Vaughn, which is fine, or Hugh. Hugh, is that Hugh? I don't remember. This dude, I talked to everybody about that dude, as well as how we'll leave that one. But we go ahead, we put the counter attack. The reason being is because they're gonna attack us, then we're gonna be allowed to go ahead and nuke down that character. So the problem is Antonua is single target, massive damage dealer. Zachary is huge. So he's actually the, like he is who killed us on 60. He did not help me at all. That's when, you know, Rex was like, dude, just do this. Let them, let, let Zachary counterattack you and then let your character wipe him out. And it's like, hey, you're exactly right. Let's do that <laughs> and see how it goes. So let's go ahead and rage him up. Let's go ahead and attack. I do know personally that Nathalia and um, Zatlux has enough damage on their own to kill, Zat or to kill Zachary. 
All right, we didn't get a counterattack proc, so that's good. So this is when we go ahead and say, okay, let's go ahead and end Zachary, because he's the, he's the threat, right? He's going to do a lot of damage to us. So is Anthonua. She's a single target, massive damage dealer, but that counterattack, notice that just saved me. That just saved me tremendous amount of potential damage. And that's kind of the setup. I mean, whatever the, the outcome is here, um, obviously I would like to win this battle. It'd be really cool. Uh, it push me above, above and beyond what I thought I would be. But like I said, this isn't something I was planning on actually completing content wise. So this is kind of a bonus for you guys as uh, watching the YouTube video. But you guys get to see live in action how this is working. This is just supposed to be a quick highlight, a quick fail and go, eh, this is what I did and this is how it worked. But we're getting a little bit more lucky than that, I think. We may actually go ahead and uh, we may mess around and get this done. So let's see what we can do. We're kind of uh, doing it live, so to speak. Okay. And can we do enough DPS just from the Zatlux? It does not look like we can. Um, oh, it's because she's invincible. I totally forgot about that proc. That was a waste of his A3. That was dumb. That was very dumb, John. Let's go ahead and just reset that as well because we might as well give ourselves one more shot. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, had we not messed that up, we probably would have uh, we would have done a lot more damage. This would have been a lot more, um, definitely a much better run, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and defensive down and did not land. We'll speed up, go ahead and give him that extra little bit of attack and we'll rage him as well. Uh, yeah, because we're not going to make it to the reset, honestly. Anna, surprisingly, for an elite character, she can do a lot of damage. Uh, she's definitely going to wreck, wreck my team here. Um, okay, we did this again. Nice, she's focusing on wind streaks. This may work out okay for me. And I opened my mouth a little too soon. Yep, opened my mouth just a little too soon. We're still lost. But like I said, had I not messed up that one rotation with Zatlux, this would have been a win. We would have actually cleared 70. It would have been fine. Uh, but like I said, this is the end of Void Tower rotation. I just kind of wanted to show you the team that Rex Hart helped me create to make it work. Um, let's go show you quickly the stats. There's reset. It has happened. We are at 11 p.m. EST. Let's go show you stats really, really quickly on those guys, uh, just so we have a good idea. So let's start with Winstrix, since she's first in the rotation. Notice she's got like a curse set. It's kind of a, a fluke. It worked out. Her speed, I got her like, I was shooting for 200. It worked out that I got her at 202. Health is decent. Defense isn't terrible. Uh, her focus is like zero. I wish that was higher. It really should be higher. I'm gonna try to work on getting that a little higher. Uh, William, William would be the next in the rotation. Talk about his gear. He is also in a curse set. Once again, Queen of Tides is one of the main ones I farm, so we just happen to look into a lot of Queen of Tides gear. Info, we'll talk about it. Speed, 174, it's pretty fast. That's why he's usually second in the rotation when I have him in the roster. Health is at 21, uh, 22K almost. Defense is over 1500, which is very, very good. His focus is at 71%. That's why he's landing that defensive spell on almost everybody, even off element. It helps a lot for that. Um, precision also helps quite a bit in that, that aspect. Next we have, uh, let's talk about our Zatlux uh, because he's kind of broken. I'm not gonna lie, my Zatlux is pretty strong. Uh, he's not that slow either. He's, he's doing pretty decent. So if we look at his stats, he's over 4K damage or 4K attack. He's 12K HP, over a thousand defense. 142 speed, crit damage, or crit rate is actually five over minimum. And he's 308 crit damage. Um, that's pretty good. That's a lot of damage. Honestly, with that combination of the attack and the crit damage, um, it's not gonna be a very free to play friendly comp. I do apologize for that, but we are in Void Tower Hard. So Void Tower Hard really isn't meant for your average free to play player to just like breeze through it, right? So that's to be understood, understood and, and kind of acceptable. Okay, moving on, we have last but not least is going to be Nathalia. Let's pull up Nathalia. More information. So her attack, once again, she's over 4k attack, just like Zatlux. Her crit damage is a little lower. Her health is over 10k, which is what I was shooting for. Her defense is 1k, a little bit above. But once again, kind of what I was shooting for. Speed is not terrible. Crit rate is exactly 100. I couldn't, I, I didn't try to do that. I lucked into it. Crit damage is 265, which you can't resist that. Like, I mean, that's that's pretty decent. With a 4K attack, not bad. 
I would like to get this more towards like that 280, 290. I think that'd be even better. But overall, not bad. I feel like had I figured out what Rex helped me with earlier, I would have progressed Void Tower hard, no problem. So yeah, I'm definitely grateful that the guy popped into my stream and helped me out. All right, let's talk about the other things we want to talk about today. And that's going to be the summons. So actually, you know what? Before we get distracted, let's get distracted. Let's do a free summon pull. I was uh, elite, whatever. All right. <laughs> Next, let's talk about limited summons. So this did reset. Uh, for everyone who knows, the last, re last uh, rotation, I was like, you know what? Maybe don't pull limited summons, okay? Uh, this rotation is a little different. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Valeria is literally one of the more common, better in-game Void Tower champions. As of last rotation and the rotation before. Um, I also will have a video coming out very soon that will talk about your mythic farmers. Valeria is on that list as far as being one of the best mythic farmers because she's just such an a AOE damage dealer. She's amazing for the Avarice set. Uh, so she just does a lot of damage. I can show you the stats on my Valeria and you guys would be very surprised at how much damage she can actually do. Methasia. Methasia, she is a very good healer. She's one of the, she is the only reviver in the game. The only thing about her is a lot of people take her at the beginning and I would, I recommend not taking her as part of your rookie summons because she's just not going to be there to really support your team. Uh, she's going to be a healer, but you're going to get Connor, you're going to get Rodira. You don't need her, so she gets kind of get pushed by the wayside. I have yet to use mine personally, but she's ascended a few times. I am starting to the point where I could probably pull her out of my like vault, we'll call it. And I could probably start utilizing her and uh, make a few like dragon comps that are slower, but more reliable. So I'm going to say she's she would be one that's willing to be pulled because she, like I said, she's the only reviver. She has a lot of untapped potential that we just really haven't focused on. Next, we have Lydia. Now, Lydia is I don't know if you guys saw my video. Darth gave me a raid one day. I pulled two Lydia's back to back on that one. That man wailed out for Lydia, and uh, I see why. Uh, she was a very good character. Her dodge effect is one of the most controversial effects in the game, in my personal opinion, and it's very useful. Now, is she gonna be the like in-game character that you want, that you have to have? Absolutely not. She is not, she's not gonna make or break your account. Is she gonna help you? Yes. Uh, if you're struggling, she's gonna be one of those characters where her RNG alone with her dodge effect, with her counterattack. So if she dodges, she does a counterattack. That's her ultimate ability, which just hits super hard if you get her in the right gear. She's gonna help you progress tremendously in farming for mythics, for um, for endless trials. I used her, I used her a lot in endless trials until I got Imogen. Imogen was like the 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 GG moment for me when I got her because I can put her in a counterattack team and it, or a, a joint attack team. But until I had that, I used Lydia. Um, I used a Lydia, I used a William, and a couple other characters, and I just, I knocked out in this trials, and I didn't have to worry about Ly Lydia dying. I just got lucky with the RNG. So as far as the legendaries go, very helpful. Now, let's talk about the epics, because that's usually what everyone's going to get when they're starting, starting to pull off this limited summons. Um, here's the thing. Obviously, Kane, he's not going to be super impactful on your account. Everybody starts off with a Kane, okay? Um, Hassel is another one where he his kit kind of seems okay, but it's just it's not not what it's cracked up to be. But Hakron, okay, you guys by now you've watched enough videos where you know Hakron is very impactful on your account. Um, if you have not gotten Hakron fused yet, like have you if you've not went to the altar and created and synthesized the Hakron then this is gonna be worth pulling for uh, because it just saves you that additional resources. Like you have to have three of the elites or four, four of the elites, sorry, cause you need a base plus three to get the Ascension. Um, it just saves you a lot of resources. So if you are one of the fortunate ones when you do a limited summons, which you're more than likely gonna get an Epic over a Legendary, if Hacker is one of them, that saves you a lot of re resources and a lot of materials, okay? Um, Edicris, I am not a fan of this character. I really am not. He has, he has perks though. He's one of those, he's another one of those that's annoying that we should really play with because I'm sure there's some comps that would work really well with him. Unfortunately, we just haven't taken the time to really dive into him. 
Um, the other thing is Scarlet. Scarlet is tried and true. I've used her on my guild boss. Uh, she's amazing. Tulpa, if you're struggling on Tulpa, she's great for Tulpa. Pair her with Orak, uh, Jacob, and boom, you're doing massive amount of damage with that wool. Um, I really, really like this bleeding effect. You get her uh, ascended. She does even more damage, similar to Gangello. I can't wait until I get more bleeding characters built. And that way I can kind of synergize with her, see, to see how much she can really bring to the table, right? Um, but overall, Scarlet, very good champion. I would probably recommend going ahead and getting this. Um, Jonathan is on my list to build. Uh, I really, he literally, like I have, I have a notepad that says, hey, this, these videos you need to make. And uh, Jonathan is like number two on my, you need to build these characters to go test them out for a video. Uh, because I feel like he could do some damage, but I haven't really played with him enough to know what he can do So I'm not upset that he's on this limited summon banner. So so far I would say you have one two three characters that are worth it Edicris is potential But like I said, we haven't played with him enough counts and the legendaries aren't bad by any means um, Even then Freya uh, Some people if you're struggling with Freya to do the synthesis. Well, here you go. Here's Freya uh, you'll need her. So, so is a lot of these other resources in this pool. So, overall, I would say if you do not have these legendaries or if you are struggling to get a couple of these epics, I would say this limited summon is probably worth pulling. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, you know what? Actually, hold on. Before we wrap this up, let's go look at our events. Okay, so next we have a gear collection event. It's just started. Uh, we have a calendar coming up. Looks like we have, what is this, a gear enhancement coming up. So definitely save your, uh, your charms for the gear enhancement. And yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for the YouTube video, guys. I hope you guys appreciate it. Um, yeah, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Peace.